Coach, we'll have you start with an opening statement. Uh, I thought that was a great team win uh, against a very good USC team. Uh, you know, Mark and his staff have battled injuries, um, you know, and they have some uh, really, really tough players. So we had to play well, and I thought we did. Uh, I, I loved our balance. Um, I really loved our defense coming out. We ran hard. Um, you know, we play in uh, uh, a, a very tough conference, and I think the fact that we've, you know, had a lot of these games it really got us ready for this, and we're really excited to be playing tomorrow night. All right, our first question is from Willie Ramirez with Associated Press. Uh, you mentioned the balance, and it's what stood out to me is that you had a leading score, a different leading score in each quarter <laughs> for the team. Players in double figures, but I mean, each quarter you had somebody different leading the charge. Is that by plan? Is that, or is that just happened to be that way? Uh, I think it just happened that way. Um, you know, I think that it just points to the unselfishness of this team. Um, you know, the uh, people really uh, wanting to move the ball and share the ball and, um, you know, just really excited for uh, when their teammates do well, um, they're, they're excited for each other. So that was, that was really, that was fun. All right, our next question is from Michelle Smith McDonald. There I am, sorry, me and the mute button. Hi, Tara. Hi, Michelle. I'm upstairs, I'll see you later. <laughs> I got here okay. this afternoon. <laughs> Great. So, will you just speak for the moment about how much momentum matters when you come into this tournament or, or any sort of postseason tournament, how important it is to have been playing well coming into this and how much confidence a team builds in this kind of situation when you've already been playing well coming in? Well, I think, um, you know, our, our team is, you know, just like anyone, if they're, you know, feeling confident and that um, can um, spill over to how well you play. And I think our team is feeling confident. Um, you know, they're excited that uh, we won the regular season and, you know, I want to go after the, the um, automatic bid and the Pac-12 championship tournament. So, um, you know, we have, uh, I think we just have some really good leaders on our team with Kiana and Anna and Alyssa and very unselfish players. And they understand that, you know, it's a, th it's a grind. Three, if you can play three games in three days or four days, uh, we're going to need everybody. So this was a great start. Yeah, I was going to, that would, was going to be my follow-up, the opportunity to play a lot of people so that you've got people that are fresh and have playing time coming into the next couple of days has always been really important, hasn't it? Well, I, th I think it is really important. Um, you know, you're, you, don't, you don't usually play back-to-back -back games in any situation during the season, it, you know, this season especially. But, um, you know, we're hoping that, uh, we, you know, we, we will be rested and, and excited to play tomorrow and, and be very aggressive. And, um, you know, we're going to have to play very well. Oregon State's an excellent, excellent team. Our next question will be from Ann Killian. Hi, Tara. Hi, Ann. Congratulations. Um, hey, I, I just wanted to ask you, you, and this is looking a little bit ahead, a few days ahead, but you spent so much the last two months bobbing and weaving and doing all these pandemic uh, protocol, and you're going to go to a place where they just kind of declared the pandemic over in Texas and, you know, no masks and um, I'm just wondering how you feel about that. And I, I mean, I know Greg Popovich said he thought it was a travesty. Um, mm -hmm. I'm, just, I'm just wondering after everything you guys have been through, if you have any feelings about the safety now of going to Texas. Well, Ann, I don't think they have a rule that you can't wear a mask. <laughs> um, so I double mask, our staff all double masks, our team all double masks. And, you know, I'm, I'm really uh, hopeful that everyone that we're around will mask or we won't be around them. Um, our team has worked really hard. Um, you know, I, I would agree with uh, Coach Popovich. Um, you know, just, uh, I, you know, there, there might be, I don't, I don't know why you wouldn't want to keep wearing masks when it's proven that it helps you stay, uh, you know, stay healthy. But, um, you know, uh, I'm not the governor, but um, we're, we're wearing our mask. And, are, and do you expect or do you know yet about fans and if you'll be able to have Stanford well, fans there? 
I, I think it would be similar to here. Uh, the fans, our team really has been very disciplined and we know we've worked so hard to get to this point that even if family or fans are here, they are in their own separate world, their own separate bubble, their own hotel. Uh, we don't mix with them at all. They don't come in our hotel. We don't meet up with them in restaurants, nothing. Um, we're, I think we're really trying to be very focused on just playing well. And it's great that we have fans to watch, uh, but we, we don't want to take a chance that, um, you know, one of them could, uh, you know, we test every day, two and three times a day. Sometimes we don't want to um, test positive. Thanks, Tara. Our next question will be from Cheryl Coward. Hi, Tara. Um, Hi, Cheryl. talked about uh, your team being confident. You were certainly confident from beyond the arc. You had 15 made threes, your season high, which is also a tournament record. Your thoughts on that and um, how well your team shot? Well, uh, it, was, it was really fun to see people knocking down their shots. You know, we haven't played in this building. We haven't practiced in this building. And sometimes when you come into a big arena, you know, sometimes it can just, you know, you're using a different ball than we've used all season. So um, it was great to see. I think Hannah Jump got us going. Uh, um, you know, Anna made a three. Lexi uh, made two threes. Uh, Cam making her three. Um, I mean, every, everyone really contributed. Uh, Ashton, two for five. So, you know, that's um, – I, I think we, we've got weapons, you know, we've got inside game and outside game. Um, but, um, you know, I think it was fun to be able to spread it around. And to follow up briefly, speaking of those weapons, it must be frustrating for other teams to look at your, your team and today even look at the stats and see that the bench led the way um, in points. Is that how you want other teams to look at you to say, you know, you're going to have to pick your poison and, you know, they don't really know who to concentrate on because it could be anyone. Uh, you know, different people. I use the analogy of an orchestra that, you know, it's going to be a different solo every night. Um, but we, you know, we all got to keep the beat and come out and play hard and play defense and uh, rebound and do do a lot of the, you know, the, the grind things. Um, but, uh, it, you know, it's fun when when different people step up, especially in a tournament and, you know, for our, our young players to play in person the first time in front of their parents I think they really wanted to play well and so we're playing another night and we're very excited about that thanks um, our next question is from Daniel Martinez Krams hi coach I talked a few games ago about uh, inviting Oregon State to Maple if they didn't take you up on the invitation mm -hmm. are you excited to get that game in is there anything extra meaning for that game now um well you know, they, they have an excellent, excellent team. Um, it would have been fun to have the game at Maples, but, um, you know, it just uh, the makeup games didn't come to fruition the way I think, you know, maybe coaches thought they would early uh, when we were planning this back in October. But um, we're excited to be playing in the tournament. And, you know, whoever we were playing, it, it doesn't matter to me who we're playing, uh, whether it's Oregon or Oregon State. But, um, you know, the fact that we only played Oregon State once I think in some ways, maybe, um, I don't know, you know, like if you beat a team twice and you have some close games, um, I think that that maybe gives a team a little bit of advantage. But, um, you know, we're going to have to play well. We know that they have uh, Scott does a great job with his team and, you know, they shoot the ball very well and they've got a great inside game. So uh, it's going to be a battle and, and uh, let's see what we can do. Thanks, coach. All right, coach. Thank you very much. All right, thank you. All right, hi Ashton. Your first question is gonna come from Michelle Smith McDonald. Go ahead, Michelle. Hey Ashton, um, can you just talk about uh, the momentum that you guys maybe you're coming into this tournament with and the confidence? You know, you guys played 15 threes today, lots of different people getting involved. What kind of, how confident is this team right now? Um, yeah, for sure. I mean, we, um, we've come off some really good wins recently. And so we're coming into this tournament ready to play. And um, we're just, um, we're just excited to be here. And, you know, we're just trying to play our best. So how important is it, do you think to have a lot of people be able to contribute, especially when you've got a run of three games in four days? Um, it's definitely big, and I think, like, tonight um, shows a lot about the depth of our team. Um, it'll definitely help keep some of, like, the players who get high minutes fresh. And so um, it, it's big for us, and it helps us um, moving forward into the rest of this tournament and the NCAA tournament. Thank you. 
Any other questions for Ashton? Go ahead, Michelle. Okay, I'm gonna go again then. <laughs> um, Ashton, can you talk a bit about, I mean, I know it's looking ahead now and you guys will turn and focus on Oregon State, but um, they're also playing really well and really confidently. And what do you expect from that game tomorrow night? Um, yeah, it's definitely going to be a battle. Oregon State's coming off some really big wins, so um, we're just going to have to come out to play. And, um, I mean, they've been hot, so we just have to be ready. Um, actually, my last question is um, actually about Anna Wilson and, um, you know, her leadership, her experience as a fifth year, having been th through pretty much any everything and anything a player could go through in a collegiate career. And I just wanted um, if you would just offer some perspective on Anna and the leader she is for you guys. Yeah, I mean, um, Anna is amazing. I mean, she's had a great season this year. Co-defensive player of the year is awesome. Um, and she definitely plays a big role. Um, she brings a lot of energy to the court and she's someone like, she's huge for our team and um, we all rally behind her and like, her big plays and everything like that. So. Thank you. Anything else for Ashton? All right, thank you, Ashton. Good luck tomorrow.